Hi and welcome to my second Let's Play, which um, I'll be playing Lilac Wars, also known as Star Fox 64 in some countries. So let's load it up. This was originally released on the 64, which is a remake of Star Fox on the Super Nintendo, or Nintendo, I don't remember which one now, doesn't matter. I'm playing this on the uh, virtual console, as you could probably tell, so which means I'm using the classic controller. So I can only give you the controls for what, what they are on the classic controller, since I forgot what they were on the 64. Corneria. Fourth planet of the Lilat system. The evil Andros turned this once thriving system into a wasteland of near extinction. General Pepper of the Cornerian army was successful in exiling this maniacal scientist to the barren, deserted planet Venom. Five years later, General Pepper noticed strange activity coming from Venom. James McLeod, Pigma Dangar, and Peppy Hare of the Star Fox team were sent to investigate. Upon their arrival, Pigma betrayed the team, and James and Pepe were captured by Andros. Pepe barely escaped Venom, and returned home to tell James' son, Fox, about his father's fate. A few years have passed. Andros has again invaded the Lilat system. General Pepper has turned to a new Star Fox team, headed by Fox McCloud, to save Corneria and free the Lilat system once again. Alright, that was the starting movie clip. And here's the Lilat system. When it shows us, there we go. You play through seven levels, always, and, that's, and then you beat the game. But as you can see on the screen, there's more than seven levels, so obviously you don't play each level the first playthrough. I'm going to try and do this the hard way or take the hard path, but I could stuff up at some point. But I'm definitely going to try and get the good ending, so... Start off on level 1. It's about time you showed up, Fox! You're the only hope for our world! I'll do my best. Andros won't have his way with me. I'm going to try and not talk during cutscenes, so we'll see how well I do on that. Here's another cutscene. Open the wing! Check your G diffuser system. Falco here. I'm fine. This is Tepic. All systems go. Flippy here. I'm okay. I see him up ahead. Let's rock and roll. Alright, um, yeah, as you see, you've got three teammates with you who help you out and you help them out. And also, you're gonna need them to try and, um, you're gonna need them to, um, accomplish the mission. And what I mean by that is, um, you can either complete the mission, which is completing a mission normally, or a level normally, or you can accomplish it by completing the level the secret way, which I'll explain later. Uh, the controls, uh, how, that's a laser power-up, which increases my laser's power. Uh, before I was firing a single laser, now I can fire double lasers. You can get another power-up, which makes your lasers blue, and that's the strongest ones. So, um, so what are the controls? Alright. Left control stick on the classic controller moves your ship. The A button fires lasers. If you hold the A button, you can lock on. So you can see those, you can see I'm locking on there. Uh, B fires a bomb, uh, which I'm not going to use yet. Uh, what was it? X is brake, because you can slow down, so you want to slow down when people are behind you. That silver ring I ran through just increases my health. There's also gold rings, which if you run through three of them, you get a, um, you know what, uh, your health bar expands, and then if you get another three rings, you get an extra life. 
Um, what other controls? Okay. Continuing with the controls. Uh, y is to go faster. Um, hang on a sec. Let's go break this open and get a gold ring. I think that's all the basic controls. Oh no, and also, uh, if you held, if you hold, sorry, L or R, you, um, do this tilt thing. And if you repeatedly press it, you do a barrel roll, which is used to deflect lasers. Right. I think there's, there's more controls, I'll have to remember them. Uh, what else is there? Oh, hang on. Right here, you've got to save Falco so you can accomplish the mission, so let's just do that. There we go. Alright, there's another one. If you press Y and down, you do this 360 uh, loop thing, so... That's kind of useful if people are behind you as well. Alright, there's another laser power-up. Now I've got the blue lasers. I think that's all for the controls. Alright, now for uh, what's on the screen. That bar in the top left hand corner is your health. Uh, the number below it is your kill count. Uh, you can get a medal for completing a mission if you get the if you get a high enough kill count. And I'll stop there for a second. To um, complete this mission the secret way, you have to fly through these arches in the water. You gotta get through all of them. So let's just do that. There's my third gold ring, and I crashed into the arch, but Falco said follow me, so that means you, uh, you're you going to take the secret path. Right, far, you, know, you would normally go down this way to the left, but the secret path is going through this waterfall, so... Right, I'm a drunk driver, I just crashed into a wall. Right, just uh, beware the explosions on the ground. Um, right, continuing on with what's on the screen. That uh, in the top right hand corner, there's your, um, your amount of lives. The bar below the amount of lives is um, kind of like your engine power, I guess. Like, as I speed up, it goes down like that. And below that bar is how many bombs I've got, which I've got four at the moment. Right, here's a secret boss. You get told this, but you just gotta stay down for this. He's, he's gonna fly above you. Alright, this boss, um, he'll open these three hatches, this one first to the right, when he opens them you just shoot it. There we go. That's gone. There's another one, just one more. If, um, because your teammates can go down if they run out of health, if Slippy was to go down, you wouldn't get that boss meter onto the left, which tells you how much health he's got. Right, now all that's done, you just keep shooting the boss and he knows his health's going down. Whoops, didn't mean to shoot Falco. Right, the boss is down. That's the end of mission one. You'll never defeat Astron! As you can see, it says mission accomplished. We're heading out. All aircraft report. You did it. And obviously, if it said mission complete, then you didn't do it the secret way. The difference between accomplish and complete is that accomplish will lead you to harder levels, and complete will lead you to either an easier level or a level of the same difficulty. So, um. And obviously, you need to accomplish missions so you can get the good ending. You don't have to accomplish every mission, but I'll get towards that in more detail near the last levels. I mean, I can just quickly explain now. If I'll try to, because I can't really... You, you see that, um, like, green planet all the way on the other end of the Lilat system? The level before that, you've got to go onto, um, oh, I'm not going to be able to show you which one. If you see the two levels before that, you've got to get to the top one, I think. I don't really remember now, but if you can get to that, you got to get to that mission to get the good ending, and obviously stay alive. So, I think it was the top one. I'll remember when I get to it. But, I've got to end it here. So, um, well, end the part here. I'm going to, because I'm approaching that ten minute limit. So, um, 
I'll uh, see you at the next part. Thanks for watching.